Hello guys. What's life like in there? I don't want to talk about it, but I will. But I don't want to talk about it. Just watered a rock. Hi, cozy friends. How are you today? We're playing Animal Crossing instead. I'm kidding. But I just opened my Switch and Animal Crossing is up. And I want to show you, if you don't watch my streams, look at what we worked on on stream last weekend. I'm so proud of it. Look how cute this little area is. And Eddie sent me this yuzu bath. Thank you, Eddie. You're the best. Um, Look how cute it is. I love it. I look at the little gyro and I did this little like little shack beach shack thing. Okay, that's it. Sorry. <laughs> I just had to show you. Okay, back to Stardew. Okay, so I still need the stupid scrolls. I still need the stupid scrolls. And what else was I doing? Giving the mic a little kiss is what I was doing now, currently. I don't remember. I don't remember. And that's okay. What is my cat doing up there? Just walking through the bed, okay. Oh, it's Mayor Lewis's birthday. I don't think we need to do anything. Well, I'm just gonna chill out because I think the past couple of playthroughs I've been grinding it out in the mines and I'm okay with not grinding it out in the mines right now. Well, thank you. I am in fact okay with that. Did I see if I could, I don't think I saw if I could, um, it's Friday, traveling cart. I don't think I saw. Ooh, this mushroom grew, yay. If I could customize the shed after I upgraded it, so I'm gonna do that. I also think we should work on trying to be besties with people more. I do, as much as I hate the thought of having to talk to people, it's, it's unfortunately a necessity. I keep digging up warp totems left and right. Um, so I unfortunately am in my like straight boy era. And by that, I mean, I have started to care about things like personal finance, like a little too much for my own liking. Um, I, in my own free time that I can choose to watch whatever I want to watch and read whatever I want to read, have chosen to watch and read about. <sighs> personal finance and investing and it's disgusting i'm disgusted i don't want to talk about it but i will but i don't want to talk about it <laughs> but i'm going to in doing that of course because you know this is like ah, listen i'm very against hustle culture okay hustle culture stupid hustle culture makes it so that the people who actually are hustling all the time um and don't have a choice but to hustle um and are not being adequately compensated for it it hurts them the most even though the people that like perpetuate hustle culture um, are sitting pretty and can choose when or when to not hustle. And then there's this idea that if you're not hustling, it's because you're lazy and you deserve it and you just simply need to hustle more when really, I don't know why I'm explaining this to you guys. You guys get it. Hustle culture is stupid doo-doo, in my opinion, in my opinion, you know? And I think productivity, it, the productivity culture is like really close behind that. I think there's like some good things to it, but mostly it's just a way to make you feel shamed. And it's like, it's like a vehicle. Here's the vehicle of capitalism. Maybe that's the wrong analogy. Maybe capitalism is the passenger and these, these things are the vehicles to, you know, with which to carry the vehicle of capitalism into the hearts and minds of the everyday american people so all that to say productivity will not make you happy it'll just make you a good capitalist okay if that's what you want so be it but i think that when you're chasing those things you think you're chasing you know personal happiness and freedom but really you're not anyways anyways i in watching the personal finance videos, the investment videos, because I know so little, because my parents know very little, and I have to, like, teach myself, and um, I have zero generational wealth, and so I have to, you know, be my family's generational wealth and my own <laughs> generational wealth, since I don't want kids, I don't know. In watching these videos, wow, get to the point, girlfriend. In watching these videos, there are so many book recommendations, because this is this was why I went on to a tangent, because paired, like, 
they are they are two peas in a pod the idea of like personal finance and investing and like productivity hustle culture those are like intertwined ideas and cultures in the like youtube sphere and so all of the like self-help productivity books are always things that these people in the videos recommend and so this one guy who he like interviews people he'll like interview people at equinox or he'll like interview his millionaire friends or whatever and get just like general investing advice oh i need a battery pack no okay I, there's one right there i don't know why i just bought this one and so a lot, like one of those questions is like what what it like has helped you learn or what has helped you like you know develop your work ethic or develop your like investing ethos and people are like oh uh this book productivity book whatever whatever anyways uh, in my in my straight boy era i've been indoctrinated into the productivity self-help book sphere as well which has been a pleasant surprise it's been a pleasant surprise because i went for the more like mushy like emotional ones that were recommended because that makes more sense to me than ones that are like you are a person you you have no needs you just work and you work and then you succeed and i went more for the like let's talk about the psychology behind self-sabotage and things that are holding you back i like that a lot more and so one of the books is called the mountain is you and I'm sure if you've watched like any YouTubers, like books I've read or favorite things or whatever, productivity YouTubers too, that you've heard of this book because it's, I've seen it suggested so many times and I've ignored it so many times because I'm like, I don't care. But y'all, I started reading it audiobook style. It's a good ass book. It's a pretty good book. Like it's a lot of fluff. It's a lot of fluff for sure, but it's a really good book and it talks about you know kind of what we were talking about like the past couple weeks of like doing things that you're holding yourself back from analyzing journaling figuring out why you are holding yourself back from that specific action or you know the your habits just like looking at your habits in life and seeing if those habits are actually in some way you stopping yourself from growing or stopping yourself from like certain patterns one of the things that that she was talking about in one of the chapters was like a pattern of jumping ship and i heavy related to it in a way that i didn't think that i would because i really truly like fancy myself somebody who has like thoroughly self-analyzed every single like complex every single issue that i have every single emotional trauma that i have and at least acknowledged it maybe not fully dealt with but at least acknowledged and know about it but this one made me realize the book because she talks about a bunch of different patterns you know that somebody might have but it made me realize that that is a pattern that i have that like as soon as i maybe not as soon as but i just like to jump ship from things whether it's like relationships whether it's friendships whether it's like just situations in life like jobs and things like that like I haven't really had much experience with that but like I genuinely enjoy like jumping into something for a little bit and then like jumping out of it and moving on to the next thing and I always thought of that as like a plus which you know it still could be you know you can't take all this at like face value but I always thought of that as a plus and I was like okay I'm just really good at adapting. I'm really good at adapting to new environments and I'm really good at, you know, change. I'm really good at change and that's a good thing only. Could only ever be a good thing. But never thought of it as comfort in f- comfort in the new cuz in in new things you get to like I don't know. Like there's you don't have to like there's so many things. I I can't I can't even think of all the all the things that you avoid by jumping ship, but like there's like a certain responsibility that you would have in being in one place for so long, a certain expectation from being in a certain place or a relationship for so long, um, a certain relationship to the people around you in this in the same job or the same relationship or the same whatever. There's just expectations that come with it. There's I'm going to go to the mines. There's expectations. There's, I don't know. This is like, I'm like actively unpacking. So it's kind of hard for me to put words to it. But in jumping ship, which if that's a pattern you have, holler, you're, you're relieving yourself of the expectations and burdens of like a lot of things. Burdens, depending on how, you know, I might see it versus someone else might see it. So just something to think about <laughs> in general. Um, that's just one of the patterns that she mentioned. So... 
cheers to that. Looking forward to reading the rest of the book and I highly recommend it. Again, there is a lot of fluff, but I think the I think the like end goal of the book and the little lessons you can take from it are very, very like go a long way and are very helpful. And I just I like the idea of like fostering a system where you can confront yourself a little bit more because like I said like I fancy myself somebody who is always confronting myself but I don't think I am to the extent that like this book suggests this book is like suggesting to take it a step further and really analyze kind of every every resistance you have and why you're resisting and all that stuff it's very interesting that's it but I'll be on my straight boy journey um probably for a while i would like to continue reading so i'll share with you my uh my reads as i go i put some some more on my wish list so we shall see let me know if you, let me know your favorite like self-help books one of mine that i actually got through was atomic habits and i think we've talked about it before but i actually did did like atomic habits i did there's another one that people suggest that's like managing time or something it's like one of like one of the classic ones that people suggest and I couldn't get through it because I'm like, this is, this is, this is, it's like, it's doing the, uh, you are not human. You just need to work and work and work and carve out times to work. And I'm like, that doesn't work for me. Sorry. Can't do that. I am in fact a human with needs, but Atomic Habits kind of gives you the tools to work on creating habits, which is nice. Oh my God. I swear. I swear. Oh yeah, this one is not even in. It's just in the monsters. I keep forgetting. Oh, it's so late. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Get home, get home, get home, get home, get home, go home, girl. Go home, girl. Someone just tried logging into my um, Snapchat. I gotta enable two-factor authentication. Hold on a second. If y'all have any apps where you have like photos saved, either save them all and delete Snapchat and delete the app or enable two-factor authentication, okay? Someone just said my light is contagious. That is so sweet. That is just the cutest. I can't believe I'm finding a scroll like every time. Every time I go to the mines, every like four day playthrough, I find one, but I don't find a uh, scroll number two. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Instead, I'm gonna go to floor one through one through 40. Okay. I'm going to floor one through 40 and I'm just gonna till the soil there because I keep getting them from tilling the soil. Where's Poo? Where is Poo? <sighs> I don't think I told y'all about the time my um, partner's neighbor, old neighbor, he used to cook a lot and maybe I did say this. I don't think I did. When they moved out, it was like a month or so ago, um, he did this like whole house cooling like barbecue thing. And he made, what are these called? Moral, morel, moral mushroom like steaks. They were so freaking good, y'all. It was like, it, they literally tasted like steak. And they were like freshly foraged from his friend or something. Oh my God, they were so good. They were so good. And he just like grilled them in the pan with like olive oil and salt and a bunch of seasoning. Tasted like steak. So good, but not in like a gross way. Like it just was f flavorful and delicious. Also y'all, I am getting a car, not of my own volition, but my family's request. <laughs> so I've been wa I like have been thinking about getting a new car. I've been like, you know, punting the idea around in my head for a minute because I've had mine forever and it has its like things that are annoying and it's not big enough for all of the shopping like when i go on shopping trips i do big chunks and then i wait for like a month and then i go for an, not a month but a couple weeks and then i go for like another big i just do things in chunks and i it i can never really fit things in my small little fiat that i had i've been thinking about getting a new car but this was like the thought was like okay in the next two or three years i would get a new car you know i'll, f I'll finish i'll have finished saving up my emergency fund recently which i did and then okay i'll just like invest the rest or i'll whatever do whatever with it and use that to get a new car when i'm you know comfortable and can like maybe do like 
half of the down payment and but alas here we are <laughs> my brother also had a fiat he got a fiat after i got a fiat i don't know why he just wanted to be twinsies he wanted to be car twinsies okay i'm going to the mines i'm going to the to the is it my Alice's birthday today or tomorrow tomorrow and <laughs> it's the engine blew up the engine blew up in his car so it was basically the cost of a new car to fix so my mom called me and was like hey sweetie <laughs> are you thinking about getting a new car was that in the plans anytime soon well let's expedite that <laughs> because yeah like it doesn't make sense to spend like if i am planning on getting a new car it does not makes sense for me to for them to spend this money to basically like get a new car or because they don't think they wanted to replace it so get a new one and then like in a couple years i get a new one and then we have an extra one that like would sell for nothing like it doesn't really make sense so yes now i'm kind of forcibly put in the position to get a new car which at first was exciting and it still is i'm really excited about it because i get to get an ev cut far like car finally and i'm just i'm like generally excited excuse me generally excited to like have a new car you know first real big girl purchase after having a job for like a year now and stuff but it's stressful now i'm kind of stressed about it like after talking like i'm i'm picking it up tomorrow and after talking through like the like actual like terms and like the like totals and the monthly i'm like <laughs> now i have this like whole other expense and, uh. so yeah uh, I'm a little bit freaked out. I'm freaking out a little bit, you know. Being an adult is weird. It's hard when you haven't been for most, for all of your life. But it's okay, y'all. I, I used the, on the internets, I was like, new car checklist. And I looked that up and they suggested like getting a car between like 10, 10 to 50% of your annual salary. So I like went straight in the middle. I didn't use that at first, like to determine the car. I just picked, I like had the car I wanted already. And then afterwards I looked at it and I was like, okay. Oh my God, stop giving me skulls if you're not gonna give me the skull I want. We're in the range, so I think I'm being responsible. It's just a lot, you guys. Like car payment, student loan payment, rent. It co why does it cost so much to live? <laughs> uh, Anyways, I'm complaining, but I'm very lucky and privileged to be where I am right now. So don't listen to me. Don't, don't, don't even scoff at me. In fact, scoff at me, yell at me, say, Kennedy, you, you dumb dummy. Be grateful for what you have. <laughs> but I'm excited, y'all. I'll give you a review after oh, next week. I'll give you a review because um, I'll be whipping it by tomorrow. Just watered a rock. That's fun. Okay, we got a dwarf helm. Give me the dwarf scroll. Give me. I should have brought the lucky lunch. Okay, that's really rude. Oh, this is a big boy. Oh, there's more. Okay, I need to be killing all the slimes because I need to get that slime killer badge. Oh my god, I hate these levels. Okay, here we go. <sighs> we got this. Listen, this is the this is the ugly truth of uh, late stage Stardew. We just got just gotta grind for stupid little things. How lucky are we feeling today, folks? Cause I'm feeling pretty lucky. I'm feeling pretty lucky. I'm I'm fe I'm feeling pr pretty. Oh shit! 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 I'm feeling pretty, I'm, I'm feeling pretty lucky. Just give me the time. I'm saying that like I don't have full control over this. Give me the time. What if I, what if I got the scroll and then I passed out and lost it? I would simply, I don't know, disintegrate. Um, what would, what would you do? Cause I couldn't restart the day. That's not gonna help. It's not gonna do anything. Well, once again, we have 50 red scrolls. No scroll number twos. It's Mary Lewis's birthday today. I kind of forget that I have these little guys sometimes. Hey, little guys. What's up? What's life like in there? I still can't believe I caught that. Five of those stupid scrolls now. Five. Come on, poo. We're gonna go. What is Mary Lewis like? Wait, why are we zero with dwarf? I've given him so many presents. 
Is that because we have to talk to him first before? Maybe. Autumn's Bounty Vegetable Medley. Let's see what I got for you. Got a vegetable medley right here, sir. They're running out of hay? Sorry, bud. It's necessary. I almost sold my chicken. Oh my god. All right, traveling cart, Clint's. Traveling cart, traveling cart, traveling cart, Clint's, and Marilis. It's gone. I'm gonna say no to all of that. Now, let's see if we can find Marilis first. Not at his place, okay. Saloon? No. Store? No. Marnie's? <laughs> Where would he be? He's in the vault room, I forgot. That's so funny. Why? Just looking at money? It's like, damn, maybe I'll do it. Maybe this year. Did you hear someone paid Robin to build Pam and Penny a house? Robin won't tell me who it was though. Regardless of who paid, I love seeing this kind of community support. See? Look at that. Oh, here's your birthday present. Okay, rushing to Clint's. Not that there will be anything of use in these, but it's fine. I'm over all the trinkets, buddy. Oh, let's also go to Robin's and see if we can customize the shed now that it's full size. Oh, I also got a new credenza for my living room. <laughs> so many fun life updates, getting forced to get a car. I'm not being forced, let me just clarify, okay. <gasps> Yay, I can paint it! Yes! Is that the color? It's close. There we go, okay. Yay! Trim. Mm. Trim, it would be fun to do. Yeah, I like that. Cute. Cute, I like that. Very cute. Okay, cool. So good to know that it's just because 550 and 300 stone. Okay. Well, I don't know how much stone I have, but I'm going to work on. I might have five. I might have 300 at this point. After all the mining I've been doing. Let's go. Let's go to floor 10. Hope I'm just so lucky today that I'll get a dwarf scroll this time around. That's not what I meant. I meant the one that I need. Ay, ay, ay. Oh my god, y'all see, see the bug coming for me? Leave me alone. Oh my god. I feel like they're like taunting me at this point. The scrolls. They have an agreement with each other to taunt me. Get me out of here. Ah! This doesn't even help because I can't get the scroll from any of these monsters. I can only get the scroll from the monsters in levels 40 and down. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Right? This has to be it. There's so much. I'm ready to get some kind of accomplishment for killing all these little things. Oh my god. It's getting late, but imagine, imagine if it's just, imagine if it's in these last, in this last, in this last. Okay. Away I go. Away I go. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I just, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Mm -mm. Starting off the day mad. You know why? Because I can. Because I've been at this for too long. I think I'm going about it the wrong way. I think I just, I think I need to ditch the t the t first 40 floors since it's only 0.1% to get them. And I think I need to just go for the, the 40 to 80 floors and kill the things and hope for the best. I'm sorry that this is what we're stuck doing, but this is, this is real. <laughs> this is me. I'm exactly where I'm, you know, that's where I'm at in life right now. I need this. I need to find this stupid scroll. I'm gonna eat my lucky lunch. I'm gonna take care of my animals, not pay attention to the stupid, stupid fish tanks or whatever. Eat a lucky lunch, go to the mines. It's just what I must do. I don't know why you're mad at me. I put hay in there. Why are you mad? There's hay, there's grass. Shush. You had grass all day yesterday, Sharta. The OG is mad at me. Ugh. You too? Lucky lunch mines. Lucky lunch mines. That's all we're doing. I'll take some cherry bombs with me. Oh, I have the cherry bombs. Okay. I'm gonna see if I have enough. Oh, I do. Okay, I have enough to make a new shed. So I'm gonna do that. 40. Here we go. Seems like the lucky lunch is helping with the stairs. 
and not much else. Which is fine, because that helps us get around quicker. So I can't, f I cannot find Dwarf Scroll 2. Ugh, I hate these things. In the tilling the soil at, at these levels. So that's why I'm not doing that. And I can't find them from these stupid heads either. So this is a waste of time. It is a waste. I hear you. Where are you? Yes, come here. All right, we made it 10 floors in record time. All right, we have a staircase if we need it. Just drop something, I'm begging you. I'm begging you, I'm begging you. I'm so tired of the mines. I'm so tired of the mines. Please. Come on, this is my best bet. Look, look at this, come on. What's that, what's that, what's that, what's that, what's that? What's that, what's that? Come on, come on. Oh. Okay. Boots. I get boots. Can you tell how frustrated I am? This is frustrating. It's frustrating to be down here with no purpose other than trying to find this thing and you can't find the thing. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. At least, at least the stairs have been consistent. ever again and I know I have to to kill the stupid animals but at least I can just kill them and I don't have to think about getting the stupid thing <laughs> thank god I honestly don't know if I've been this relieved ever 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 in Stardew <laughs> I I was at, I was genuinely at my last straw it was my that was my last straw I was like, if it's not happening this time around, it's just not happening ever. It's not. 99.9% .9 perfection. Oh my god. Wow. I also leveled up in combat. That's really good and really fun. Great. <laughs> wow. Wow, 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 wow. This was a great four days. I can sleep happy today. I can sleep so happy today. Soundly, satisfiedly. <laughs> not a word. <laughs> and... Hey, that's it. That's it. Let's do Cozy Corner. I That was such a stressful time for me. <laughs> Thank you for bearing with me through me just doing this at the screen for four days straight. Aw, okay, so we have two Cozy Corners for today. Hashtags. We have Miss Uint. Me Suint? <laughs> Miss Uint. Miss Uint has the cutest little picture oh my god of the fireworks show in animal crossing that is so cute i love it thank you so oh and the i just noticed the cute um mickey mouse ear mirror behind that is so cute and then we have torchy really just raising the bar every week with these pics torchy so cute i love it Thank you for tagging Cozy Corner. Y'all, if you tag Cozy Corner, if you send me anything, I'll include it in the Cozy Corner hashtag portion. And the Cozy Friends of the Week. We may just have one. Let me make sure. No, we have two. One is Yasmin Games. Thank you so much for watching. This is me stressing out in the minds, but I appreciate very much that you appreciate how I talk about neurodivergent people <laughs> and just neurodivergent experience in general. Thank you so much. And do, 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 Betsy Joe Music downloaded Stardew. They said, you, your love for this game made me get it. And now I love it too. And that's so sweet. I'm so excited. I love when people try starting for the first time because I still haven't met a person that like really, really got into it and didn't love it. I think there's some people that, you know, tried it for like a second and then it wasn't their thing, but they don't know. They don't know, you know? So I'm glad Betsy. And I hope that, I hope that you love it as much as the rest of us. <laughs> okay, y'all. I'm going to sleep so soundly tonight, y'all. I'm going to, after getting that stupid scroll, you can't tell me shit for the rest of the day, okay? I'm cooling. Um, I love you. Stay cozy. Bye. <laughs>